welcome to Advisor Talk with Frank LaRosa. Brought to you by Elite Consulting Partners, it's the only podcast offering unfiltered guidance and direct advice for all things concerning financial advisors, RIAs, and the practitioners in the wealth management business. Learn more and subscribe today at EliteConsultingPartners.com slash podcast. And now, here's your host, Frank LaRosa. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Advisor Talk with Frank LaRosa. I am your host, Frank LaRosa, and again, joined um, by the boss, uh, the big cheese. That I am. <laughs> uh, my right hand in helping me build this organization, Stacey Frank, Vice President of Elite Consulting Partners. Hey, everyone. It's cooking. Happy to be back. All right. Here we are again. Yeah, we're, we're excited. We're having some fun. Um, for those of you that are uh, joining us for the first time, if you're listening to us on, on Apple or whatever, uh, don't forget we have a YouTube channel, uh, which is Frank LaRosa, uh, which is Advisor Talk with Frank LaRosa. Um, my Instagram account is franklarosa.elite, which actually just crossed 76,000 followers. So, do we know that many people? I think I don't we even, do now. I don't even, I, apparently, I do. You do. Um, so, I'm trying to get to 100,000 followers. So, you need to go there and, and, uh, and, and follow me on there. And we have some great content. Um, but today, I want to talk about something that came up over the weekend. Um, I'm also the founder of, not the founder, excuse me, one of the founding partners of a, of a group, of a basically a mastermind organization called the Financial Advisor Success Syndicate. Um, it's an online group and it's just for financial advisors and practitioners. And it's a sharing of ideas and there's all sorts of individuals. Uh, my partner in that, and one of the one of the, the, in the one of the founders with me that came up with this idea, uh, John Cutton. Um, he's uh, Cutton Wealth Management. He's the number one uh, largest um, independent practice at Ameriprise, and he's top five uh, Barons producers in the in the in the country. Um, so he's a large, large, large institutional uh, firm. And we came up with this idea because we felt like there just isn't a place where advisors can just ask other advisors whether they're from the same firm or not, right? So just totally independent on what's going on and how do you how do you structure a buyout? How do you, I'm hiring a new a a new uh, right, a new staff person. How do you pay them? Or I need to hire a junior person. How do you pay them? And it's just forum of, of uh, questions. Sort of think of it as like a, it's on a different platform. And you can, if you want to join, you can go join um, join FASS.com, FASS.com. Is it anonymous? It's not anonymous because we want to know who you are. Um, you have to be an advisor to, to join. So there's a questionnaire, right? Um, yeah, we don't want, there's, we don't, it's not really for solicitations and anything like that. It's just really sharing of ideas, right? Um, it's great. We have, we, we just started it maybe two months ago. And we already have over 250 members. And so it's, it's, it's free right now. It's free. Um, you know, as it develops, there may be a, a charge, but right now it's free because we're just really trying to pay it forward and really provide a platform for people to come anyway. That was a long, long introduction. That's important. That's it, right. You know. um, but over the weekend, one of the advisors posed a question about this time of the year. What are, what are, what are people doing uh, in terms of planning and other creative ideas uh, for their staff uh, to get them sort of in the mindset of thinking about the future, right? And so it's this is uh, we're taping this. It's middle of November, and this is when you should be talking about or thinking about financial your 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 financial goals and your goals for next year and really two three years out. Um, if you follow e, e, uh, EOS, which is sort of an entrepreneur operating system or traction, you should be looking at your ten year goals, your five, your three, and your ones, and then quarterlies, but whatever. Um, anyway, and I pose this idea that we did. It wasn't random that we did this, but it it. I thought it was a cool idea, but it had way more impact than I ever thought it would, uh, not just on the people that were doing it, but on me as a as a leader of an organization. Well, as we're building our culture here, it's activities like this that really bring us all together and idea share and help each other come up with what our defined goals are. Because if it's not defined, then it's just a wish. It's so just a wish. this was our way to take our wishes and really put it into yeah the, into something concrete yeah they say like if you don't write if you don't write it down right it's just a wish so we took it a step further and what this is what this is not an original idea right um and we had what was called a vision board day so for those that maybe don't know what a vision board is right it's a 
it's basically just a, and I'll, we have examples of it. Well, I'll, I'll show you in a second. Um, you just take a board and you put pictures of things that you are dreaming about and are you're aspiring to, whether it's have or experiences, right? It could be anything. It could be, it could be a family. It could be, you know, a picture of four people that because you're maybe you're younger and you want to have a family, or it could be grand grandkids, right? On on mine, I have a picture of of a of a of a hunter. Obviously, a hunter. Right? I have like a on mine. I have a bunch of animals. I call it my kill corner. A uh, bunch of animals I want to hunt over my lifetime, right? But one of the photos I have is a picture of a hunter and a little child, right? Because one of my visions is, you know, one day to take my grandchildren, son or daughter, doesn't matter to me. Um, take them hunting with me. That's a dream and a vision of mine. So it's on my vision board. Um, and so we, we, as a company, right, we set it the day. We, we basically stopped everyone from doing anything that day. We were laying on the floor. We yeah. brought in like, we went to Michael's and brought in crazy arts and crafts supplies. Like you do. It was like arts and crafts day. It was it really was, fun. It was awesome. But it was a lot of like great idea sharing. And some people weren't 100% sure what to do. They weren't sure what their goals were. So from feeding off of each other, they're like, wow, I'd really love to have that as, you know, a stretch goal or a reach goal or it was- it was Yeah, we went out and we probably spent $1,000 on magazines, right? So we had a table with stacks of magazines from all travel magazines and, you know, the Rob Report for fancier things and Country Home and Vacation Magazine, like all sorts of different Music magazines, magazines, you name it, everything, whatever magazines we basically went out and and, and, and bought out Barnes and Noble's like, you know, magazine. Lots rack. of glue, lots of glitter right. glue. And then glitter glue and and funny little sticky on stick on things. And and then everyone just got together for the day and they and they just started putting this stuff on. And, and it was interesting because for a while it was like quiet. Right, we were doing it, and you could tell people were thinking about their boards, and they were sort of everybody was sort of in their own little world. Yeah, everybody got it really ingrained in their scissor cutting and their you know thinking, and some people did it really quickly, but other people struggled a little bit because they weren't they weren't sure. But this exercise allowed us to build culture connectivity, but allowed those that weren't one hundred percent sure what their vision board should look like or what their long term goal should be. Now they're defined. Now they're concrete, and they sit at their desks every day. Right. So. so we so we had them do the boards, right? And and just by way of example, again, if you're if you're not looking at this on our YouTube channel, which is Advisor Talk with Frank Larosa, go to the YouTube channel, subscribe, and you can see this stuff. So they sort of did these vision boards, right? And there's there's family on on this one. There's family. There's a new house because he's looking. He wants to buy a new house. Actually, I think I know that house actually. Um, uh, there's a country club. He has the symbols of a country club because he wants to belong to a certain country club in the marketplace. There's a Cadillac Escalade because he's a, you know, he wants that. He wants a, he's an Eagles fan, which I don't blame him. And he wants an Eagles man cave, right? Um, he's a fancy uh, Rolex watch on here. Um, a symbol for, for, for wealth beyond money, right? Live more, worry, worry less, Right, he wants to be able to. Sh so that's a not. A, that's not a. That's physical. a mental goal. That's right. a, That's a. That's a mental health goal. Right, it's yeah. not a physical thing. It's it's just how you want to feel about certain things. Right, all dogs. different categories of goals. Right. right, dog. He's got dogs on here. He's got travel and all sorts of Travis Matt. He's, you know, he's got all sorts of stuff here. Right, and another one is. We, this one's legendary. This one's legendary. Um, we have one here, and she's got furniture and all sorts of things. Obviously, money and travel and uh, a G-Wagon, right? So she's got high hopes and aspirations there. Uh, and then she's got a cow. Uh, Phenomenal, it's <laughs> outstanding. And who are we right? to define? There's no judgment here and, at right. all. And so so for me, some of that works for me, When because what we did was we had them volunteer only. We didn't force them, but but it was interesting when, when they volunteered and first person didn't really want to, you know, we had to get the first volunteer. And then everybody started just doing theirs. Like, I want to do my next. We had them actually go and pre present to the whole office their vision boards. If you didn't want to, they didn't have to. Um, but it was really interesting because now not only are you r writing it down, pasting it down, now you're talking about it out loud. Now you're accountable. Now you you're, told somebody what your goal you is. You told somebody. More importantly, in the way I operate in my life, is you've now put it out into the universe, right? Because I'm a huge universe, law of the universe person. So you've put it out into the universe and you've told the universe what you want. Um, and and what you think is what you're going to get. And so now, and I so I love the fact that she said, "I want to, I want to, I want to have a cow as a pet." 
right? Well, in reality, she wants yeah, she, she wants, wants to run a farm. She wants a cow. She wants a farm, but she wants a cow as a pet. I mean, that's the reality of it, right? Um, <laughs> but I thought that was amazing because for me as a as a leader of the organization, it gave me insight into her as a person, right? And so it helped me understand how what makes her tick, right? What gets her up every what, day? What gets her up every day? You know, Stacy has. A beach house. She, you know, well, you tell, tell us a little awesome. about your. It's your vision board. Tell yeah. us about your vision board. I mean, beach house is not just about to say, "Wow, look, everybody, I have a beach house." But I just know it's something that my family, my kids, especially as they're getting older, that's where they want to be. So either they're going to be at the beach with me or without me. And if I can build a house, then I could have my kids who want to come there every summer when they're home from college. Their kids, their kids for holidays, for dinners, and just quality family time that we don't get as much as we did when they were younger. So that is, that's the draw. It's not just, oh, look at my house. It's a way to draw my family in closer and tighter as they're right. getting older and, and leaving us. And then, and then what you're doing is you're connecting your actions to everything you do. That's why people, be, you know, people build these vision boards and you say these things out loud because then, um, you know, subconsciously all the things that you do in your life will guide you towards those 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 accomplishments again and if you're younger they may be more materialist materialistic types of and we we, we saw that um some of the older folks here that that, that did vision boards had more health and oh, and okay. health and wealth and different different types of things more experience experiential things travel versus right versus monetary things travel right but it's the concept of as a as a leader of your of your organization. If you're running an organization and you're a practitioner and you have you have even if you have one, even if you're just a single producer with one assistant, you should know what he or she aspires to be and have. Because you then have to create a vision of your organization, one person, but it's still organization. Uh, an organization that you have your vision. But their vision needs to be able to fit inside of your vision. Otherwise, you're not going to get buy-in. They have to understand that if you can help them achieve their goals, then you'll achieve your goals. So everybody in my organ in this organization, our organization, yeah. right, knows. And so when I went and presented my vision board, the first thing I said basically was, I can't even do any of these things unless I can help all of them achieve their vision boards. So my everyday actions are all about that. But I can't help them achieve their vision boards unless we're helping financial advisors achieve theirs, right? So there's this, this, this universal connection between what we do for our clients. And so because of that connection, it gives us purpose, right? It gives us our purpose for what we're here to do every single day, and that is help financial advisors. Because our team knows if they can help a financial advisor successfully move firms the right way. Achieve their right? vision. Achieve their vision. Their milestones. Right. It helps them achieve their goals and they can buy a cow. Right? Basically. <laughs> <laughs> All right? I love that one. Everybody like, wants a cow. Everyone, everybody gets a it. cow, right? It's spectacular. And so it's, it's just very interesting. It was travel and it was like uh, Tuscany, Florence. Here's one. Tuscany, Florence. And some of them are more fancy than others. Center Bridge is a there. It looks like it's an apartment. Money, uh, money for financial wellness, financial health. Right, outdoor adventure. File financial stability. Stability. Right? So it's not like a thing. It's not. It's it's a, it's stability. Be your own kind of beautiful. That's an emotional thing. An emotional goal. Right. So it's feeling a certain way. Um, an old car smile. Right. A picture that says I. It's. I can't, and they're cutting the the T, so it's I can. So that's an emotional thing. So they have a goal of sort of being more confident in who they are as an individual. Um, and my, you know, look, I think that this was. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. It was probably, of all the things I've ever done, and I've been sort of in, in management, and I've been doing this for a long, long, long time. Um, and I, this was probably the most impactful thing that I did for an organization. And again, it gets back to one of the most impactful things I've done for an organization that helped me understand who my who who the team was. And we even have we have a lot of people that are remote, so we right. even we had people zooming in Zoom, doing their thing, having their own magazines. I mean, we couldn't send them the glitter glue, but right, they right. well, we probably could have. But they went out and got their own supplies and were still part of 
this exercise and they have their vision board sitting at their remote offices, yeah. and, but and they're they still connected. And they presented, right? They still presented on Zoom. Right. Um, I mean, we actually, like we, we had basically like cut it off because everybody wanted, if everybody really wanted to prevent because you felt great. It feels good. You're not, it's not bragatory. It's not whatever. It's you feel good that you're sharing. Um, and what was even better is the response that people got when they were sharing, right? So it's like building, bringing the team together because now everybody knows what everybody else's goals are and we all cheer each other on. Right, there's an accountability factor there. Right. I know what I know what this person's goals are. They know what mine are. It's like, hey, Stace, how's that shore house coming? I'm like, well, still working on it, but that's okay because that's a stretch goal. Right. And so, working every day to achieve that right. for for our family. So, you know, for if for a leader, if you were looking for something fun to do for your organization, uh, this was amazing. It doesn't cost a lot of money. We brought in, uh, I think we just brought in pizza or something. I don't know what we yeah, did, we had, or yeah. hamburgers or something. I don't know. We brought in some food. Uh, I, I, like literally, people were lying on you know laying on the floor, lying laying lasted, on the floor. Lasted like four hours. Yeah, it and was. Then it was just great. We could have added another day to it. Honestly, there was such buy-in, there was such feel good about it. Can, it brought us all closer together in a weird way. No, it did. I mean, it did. We definitely could have. What I would, if I if we had to do it again, um, I probably would have started it earlier. Yeah, we needed more time. We needed almost a full day yeah. to so that people weren't rushing. Um, to do it and and just be more creative. And now we know, like some people, I think probably would have wanted to spend more time to be more creative about it. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, we got scissors and and you go to the you go to the arts and crafts store and you get all sorts of tchotchke types of things that are three dimensional and you glue them on there. Um, you get glue sticks. We had dust, like a whole like a whole bin of glue sticks. Um, uh, and we you know these were the right. We felt like these were the right size. So I don't know what what is this a two by, I don't know is this twenty four by, yeah thirty right. or something, yeah because um, you don't want them too big, otherwise they're too giant. Um, but but one of the other points that you made, which is why we made them this size, is most of our folks keep them right at their desks. So when we're walking you can't around, hide from it. You, you, you can't, can't hide from your goals. Right there, it's right there, right, right. It's right there. I have mine actually in my um, in an area of my house where it's like where my dining room sort of in the kitchen are because I walk past it every day. And I look at it and I, you know, just I had, I had Italy on there and we checked that box off. Right. 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 Check yeah. it off. And you can cross oh. off something on your vision board. It's like, yes. Right. It's yeah. so rewarding. It's right. so it's so like elational. Like it's it was it was it's amazing when watching people that are here at our firm that started with us years ago, watching them achieve um, buying a new truck, um, taking a vacation that they were never able to do before. Um, well, we have we, we, back, we have know? somebody right purchasing a house back. We have somebody here that I didn't I didn't know, and they have a picture of of their house, their old house, their actual old house that they you know lost through a mortgage issue, um, which you who know, you know people have people go through that stuff. And his goal is to buy that house back. That's an awesome goal. And if we can help them get, oh, that'd be that'd be that'd be the best thing that happened to that's this company. That's what gets us up every day. Right, right. That that doing that for our. I'll folks start here? crying probably knowing I, me. Right. I know. Yeah. <laughs> We're an emotional bunch, but helping our folks here achieve those goals, but helping our financial advisor clients achieve those milestones in their practice, that's that's the why. That's yeah. the motivator. Yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, I wanted to talk about that because it was such a, a, I got such a great response from the board, from the financial advisor success syndicate that I just thought we'd share that because this is one of those things I don't want to keep secret. I, I think it's like it's me paying it forward. It's us paying it forward to help you as a financial advisor because this be, will, is a tremendous. And if, look, if you're a branch manager and you're do this for your office, like if you're in the business and you have people that you that report to you somehow, or even if you don't, maybe you're just a financial advisor that works from home and you don't, and you and you don't have an assistant. Do this also. Do it for um, yourself. And with with me. And I and we haven't finished it yet, but I actually left a, a a corner of the vision board blank because I want I want my wife and my family to contribute to that piece, right? Because part of my vision is their vision, and so you know I want it in there. I think I mean my wife. I think it would be just like a big Hermes bag, but um, you know, <laughs> or multiples, whatever. Um, but do it with your family. Do it with your you know, like just you can do this by yourself. I mean, do it by yourself. If you don't have anybody around you, do it by yourself. It's amazing. Um, 
if you're not in financial services and you're listening to this, do it by yourself. It's, it doesn't matter. This isn't related to financial services. Um, it's related to just sort of being, growing, and uh, um, you know, growing who you are as an individual, professionally, personally, because your vision board can be all of those things. We have somebody here that has a picture of an office because he wants to be, he wants to help us build an office out by where he lives and he wants to run the office. Closer to his family. Right. right. That's his vision. I love the fact that I know that because now as I'm thinking about the company and the growing organization, I know someone that has a vision to help out, help out the organization. Right. Yeah. It's, um, it's a great way to be connected, to keep your goals and visions, uh, goals and objectives defined personally, professionally, emotionally. There, there's so many ways to, uh, to achieve it. So, so, yeah. So give it, so give it a try. If you have any questions, uh, you can shoot me an email at frank at elitecontsultingpartners.com or Stacy S-T-A-C-E-Y. Don't forget, Don't forget the, the E. Um, at eliteconsultingpartners.com. Uh, you can give Stacy a call at 856-816-6322. Or 856-316-4651. Uh, don't forget to check out my Instagram page, which is franklarosa.elite. Uh, hit the follow button. Uh, you can DM me from there. Uh, let us know what else you want to hear about, uh, other ideas, um, questions about different topics that you want us to talk about, people that people that you want us to bring on. Um, we can bring other people on here. Uh, those are great. Com those are great conversations. And so um, anyway, we wish you the best. I hope you do this. This is an um, I, I, I own to my own horn, but it's not really my own horn. I'm, I didn't invent the vision boards, um, but probably be one of the single best things that you do for your organization. So absolutely. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Advisor Talk with Frank LaRosa. If you're looking for more advice or solutions on any topics in the financial services industry, or you just want to subscribe to our podcast, head on over to EliteConsultingPartners.com slash podcasts. <music>